Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, another in our tester uh, video series for Wicked Edge on Reddit. Uh, today, I've lost my mind completely. These are even advertised as double edged disposables. Uh, this particular gem is out of Vietnam. It's a double edge replaceable disposable. Essentially, you shape with this until it's. I don't know. Uh, I've done this for a couple of days with Feather, a couple of days with a Derby Blade, and it's okay. It's not, you know, there's there's no weight. It's just a single piece of plastic. Uh, that pivot is already starting to show signs of uh, wear and degrade as it's being opened and closed. But you know, if you're stuck, I think I paid three dollars for this on eBay. Um, if you're in the right area and you can get your hands on them and you have nothing else to shave with, here you go. Now, one of the other things about um, double-edged shaving, we get a lot of questions on what's the best blade. Um, the best blade is the one that works for you, of course. However, this came with a Gillette Super Thin and I've not been brave enough to try it. So again, this is another one of my is he really stupid enough to do this on video and put it on YouTube? Yes. Yes, I am. So, no, I'm not kidding. This has never been opened. And I have not tried this before, so... Uh, you get a pretty good chance that you're probably going to see me get partway through this and say, you know what, uh, how about no? Nothing up my sleeve. No camera tricks. So, it pops open and... There's no actual center alignment on this one. You have two studs to the outside edge, kind of like the Shavette, and it holds it there, but... Very bright, shiny chrome. Very, very sexy blade. Let's see if it holds up to... It looks good. Let's see if it shaves good. So again, uh, Using my Volfix brush. Sorry, I know this is out of frame for you guys. I'd pan down the camera, but I swore I'd never do the Blair Witch effect. Um, water, and we're using, or I'm using, I don't know what you're using. Uh, this is uh, Colonel Conk Sandalwood. And not enough water, how about that? Okay. So. The usual prep methods apply. I'm just out of the shower, so my face is all nice and malleable. I'm just gonna throw a little bit of extra water on there. You guys have seen me do this enough, you know this is my trick. And this is about two days worth of growth here too, so if this is gonna work, here you go. Fine conch floats up a little bit more. It's a little fluffier. I'm sure if you've seen my past videos, the Mitchell's wool fat comes up very, very uh, thin. This is more of the cappuccino foam look and feel that you keep hearing us talk about if you're new shaving. Um, I find it's a little, it's a little lighter. It's not as good on the lubrication. And here we go. Huh. It's not bad. I can definitely feel the difference between it and say a feather. I'd put this probably below a derby for feel right now. Well, it's doing a decent job. Um, I definitely call that better than say a Wilk. Again. Personal opinion. In case you're wondering why I'm not doing the skin stretching and so on that's recommended, uh, I have no interest in developing any grounds. This is an unknown blade and, and not the greatest of razors. However, I will say this, the, the blade configuration, the, the gird configuration and so on is such that it's, uh, it's somewhat mild. I can see I can see being able to get into trouble with it. I could see it developing, you developing a little bit of a, um, a 
complacency with this versus your standard razor. But I found with an unknown or untested it is easier, safer if you will, to cut back on stretching a bit. You might not get as close a shave, but you'll do less damage as you learn the habits of the new blade. And you know, I can feel that starting to die already. That blade's starting to fade right out of the gate. Can you? And again, if you're doing a multi-pass like this, uh, you're going to find that uh, you don't need to do as much stretching to get down. Again, the game is reduce, 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 not nail it all in one shot. So, depending on who you are and how things work, you can do another across the grain pass, or in my case, I'm stupid and I can do I'm at cross grain pass by the way just now. This isn't against the grain. And you can hear this starting to get grumpy here. So essentially As far as cost per unit goes, you can't beat this guy. Quality, yeah. you'd not get a lot of enjoyment out of this. It's very much utilitarian. Uh, this is stuck in a train station and needed, needed something. If you had somebody who was ultra, 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 ultra cheap, wanted to try double-edged shaving, but wasn't sure if they wanted to throw any money at it, yeah, doable. I wouldn't recommend it really as a beginner blade, simply because it's going to give you a really horrible first impression. It's not bad, bad, but you do so much better with a metal body, a metal head at least. And yeah, the usual new blade tend to get at least one spot. And this is a chronic one for me. This is my that's my bad patch right here, and I've never been able to find a good way to get this. However, as you can see, I'm alive. The feedback on the handle is not the greatest. Uh, like I said, this would be my... If you had no other way to do it, if you were completely lost in Vietnam, I guess. Well, I'm sure these probably sold in other places around Asia. Um, I don't know, they may even be in Europe. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, this is an Allen block. This is an antiseptic uh, cut sealer. Sort of like the styptic pencil that you just saw, but the concentration of the salts is a little less. Um, I find, for me, it works really good for reducing uh, ingrown hairs and razor bumps. And with that blade and that razor, I'm going to take every precaution I can. So there you go. Uh, Gillette Super Click. Mm, if I got it, but uh, I've certainly used worse. Uh, can't quite remember when, but maybe it's experience talking. But uh, yeah, I'd definitely say leave that one in your um, emergency if I've got to and I have no other choice pile. 
other than that, um, yeah, then you've, you've got something that you can use in a pinch, and they're dirt cheap. Give it a try if you're brave enough, although I gotta tell you, that super, what was that, that super thin blade? No, I tried Derby, Astra, I'd even put a feather in it before I put that in there. Like I said, you can actually feel it starting to degrade as you're shaping. And on the second pass, to start feeling it slip, not good. Uh, I'd say you'd probably get maybe one more shave out of that before you started doing yourself some serious damage. Anyway, keep them sharp and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want. There's more videos coming down the road covering everything from uh, straights and double edge to some of the more exotic uh, unknown or weird stuff like you've seen me do on the text and pictorial stuff on Wicked Edge and uh, while you're at it check out Reddit or Wicked Edge and uh, join us you'll uh, have some fun definitely catch you later